Namaste. Welcome back to Palatarka Farms where farming meets innovation. Since many of you had requested to share about Payani in my previous video, I will cover all about it in this video. We will talk about difference with Dupa and pros and cons of Payani. I have planted 1500 Payani trees along with my 7000 Dupa trees. Now let us discuss the difference between Payani and Dupa. Payani is the Malayalam name for Pajanelia longifolia. It is also called Alang in Kannada and Bondubare in Tulu. Dupa is the Tulu name for Ailanthus trifisa. It is also called Halmaddi in Kannada and Matti in Malayalam. Both Payani and Dupa are deciduous trees. However, in the absence of irrigation, Dupa sheds only less than 50% of its leaves, while Payani sheds all its leaves in hilly terrain during its flowering season, which is February and March. This is the disadvantage of Payani because this is the time when the intercrops like pepper and coffee need shade and Payani does not provide it. However, Dupa which does not shed fully can still provide shade. Another difference is that in Dupa, the leaves are smaller and have considerable gap between two leaves. In Payani, the leaves are huge with no gap between two leaves. This results in more shade in Payani plantation during rainy season if you are unable to prune it in May month. So, it will cause decrease in pepper yield. Next, when we cut the top of the trees, Dupa will grow branches only on the crown like an umbrella, but Payani will branch anywhere along the trunk. Another difference is that Payani bark has more water and is rough compared to Dupa. This is an advantage of Payani because the area roots of pepper can hold and get water from the Payani tree. Although Dupa does not have as much water as Payani, pepper vines can still hold onto Dupa trunk firmly and in both the trees, rain water does not run down along the trunk like in Arakani trees. So here Payani has only a slightly more advantage over Dupa. In terms of other incomes, Dupa is a clear winner. Dupa tree can be used for its resin and also has good wood value but Payani does not have either. Coming to diseases, Dupa has a few diseases and pests while Payani has better disease and pest resistance. Although there haven't been extensive studies regarding this, however these are treatable during treatment for pepper. Lastly, intergropping in Dupa is economically more feasible and lucrative because shade regulation is more effective compared to Payani. Taking all these points into consideration, I would give 9 out of 10 points to Dupa and 6 out of 10 points to Payani. I hope this clears all your queries regarding Payani. In my next video, I'll share all about my fully automated irrigation and fertigation unit with many useful and superior technologies all powered by artificial intelligence. Therefore, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.